Hey guys, so in this lesson we're going to talk about lowest common multiple. Now, I'm going to show you how it works with very small numbers, and then we're going to learn how to do it with very big numbers like that, okay? So, if I gave you very small numbers like the number 4, then can you remember what multiples of 4 would be? Well, that's when you count in 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. I'm going to go up to 40, 32, 36, 40. Now, let's say we took the number 5. Now, let's do the multiples of 5. I'm going to go up to 50. I then want you to look for all the numbers that are in both. So, there's a 20 over there and over there, and then there's a 40 over there and over there. So, we can say that the 20 is common because it's in both and we can say that the 40 is common. We can also say that they are multiples so those are definitely common multiples but if the question says what is the lowest well then the answer would be 20 because the lowest means the smallest one. 40 is bigger than 20 so the lowest common multiple of those two numbers would be 20 so that would be the answer. Now, when we get to larger numbers, why does that become difficult? Well, the reason is, is that you would have to, you would have to go and count in 360s. So that would be like 720, uh, 1080. It just becomes a little bit big, right? Of course, it can be done. Like here, if you had to go to 1080, there you could find your answer. However, it's not always going to work out that nicely. So what we need to learn is a different way of doing these questions. Um, and I'm going to show you two different methods. It's actually the same method, to be honest, but the one is with a calculator and the other one is without. So depending on how your teacher allows it, most teachers will allow you to use a calculator. Some don't. And so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So all I want you to do is take the first number and break that number down as far as you can. Remember, I showed you how to break numbers down. For example, 360 is the same as you could, for example, say 90 multiplied by 4, or you could say 360, uh, sorry, you could say 60 multiplied by 6. There's different ways of doing it. And now you're just going to carry on. So 90 is the same. You could even say 36 times 10 if you wanted to. I'm actually going to go with 36 times 10. That's actually an easy one. Now, 36 is the same as, um, you could say, sorry, 6 times 6. You could also say 12 times 3, whatever. 10 is the same as 5 times 2. Now, 6 is the same as 2 times 3. This 6 is also going to be 2 times 3. 5 is a prime number. You can't break it down any further. And 2 is a prime number. You can't break it down any further. So now, all of these are prime numbers. So we have how many 2s? 1, 2, 3. How many threes do we have? Two. And how many fives? One. Okay, now I want you to go break the number 540 down. So 540, we could change that to 54 times 10. Then 54, you could say 27 times 2. 10, you could say 5 times 2. Now 27 is the same as, what could we say? 9 times 3. 2 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number, and 2 is a prime number. The number 9 can then be written as 3 times 3. Then we've got this 3 over here. Okay, now we've got 2 to the power of 2, 3 to the power of 3, and a 5. Okay, so what happens now is I want you to go and write both of those on top of each other. So 360, 360 is that one over there, and then 540 is 2 to the 2, 3 to the 3, and 5. Okay, now here's where the special method works. If they ask you for the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple, then I want you to think of the highest. You got It's the opposite. So if they ask you for the lowest common multiple, I want you to think of the highest when doing this little trick that I'm going to show you now. So what you do is you look at each category. So those are the twos, there's the threes, and there's the fives. And I want you to choose the biggest one in each category. So which is bigger, two to the two or two to the three? Well, two to the three. So take that one. 
then say multiply. Which is bigger, three to the two or three to the three? Three to the three, take that one. Which is bigger, five or five? Well, they're both the same, so just choose five. Okay, now type this on your calculator and you get 1080. So that is the answer, okay? Now you could have done that manually over here, but there are gonna be questions where it gets really, really challenging to do, um, and this method's definitely gonna help. Now, I said that there's two methods, it's actually the same thing, but there is, there is a way that your calculator can give you, your calculator can give you this part and this part very, very quickly. Let me show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first number, you're gonna say 360 press equals, press the shift button, then you see how it says fact, okay? You can think of that as the word factors, so we want the factors, so you press that, and there they are. So 360, I just wanna write this down quickly, is two, three times three, two times five, and that's exactly what we got when we broke it down without a calculator. So 360 is gonna be um, two to the three, times three to the two times five. Now, for 540, you do the same thing. 540 equals shift factors, and there they are. So 540 will be two to the two times three to the three times five. So there's the twos, there's the threes, and there's the fives. So remember, when we're doing the lowest common multiple, I want you to choose the highest of each thing. So the biggest the biggest two is the one with the three, so you choose that one. The biggest three is the one with the three, and then they both have a five, so you just choose one of those, okay? And then if you had to go work that all out, that's 1,080. So that's the calculator method. So for the next examples, I'll show you both. Okay, so let's do it without a calculator first. So we take the number 40, Okay, and you just break that number down. So 10 times four, you could even use the method that some teachers use where you break it down um, like this, you know, there's that method. You can also do that, okay? So 10 times four, and now the number 10, you could have also said eight times five here. It doesn't matter, remember? It always gets to the same answers eventually. So 10 times four, now 10 is the same as five times two, or let's rather say two times five, like to keep it from small small to big, and then two times two is the same as four. Okay, and now these numbers are prime, so you can't go any smaller, and so now we can just say um, two to the power of three times five. Now, the number 84, you could say, um, let's say 42 times two, for example, uh, then this could be 42 is the same as six times seven, or um, yeah, let's go six times seven. And then six is the same as two times three. Then seven is a prime number, you can't break that down. And then two is a prime number. So 84 is gonna be two to the power of two, because there's two of those. And then there's a three, and then there's a seven. Okay, so then what I like to do is just go write them on top of each other, two to the three, and then the 40 has a five, and then this one is a three and a seven. Okay, so you choose the biggest for each one. So um, for the twos, which one's the biggest? Well, that's gonna be a th one of the three. Then for the threes, this one doesn't have a three, but that's okay, you're, still, you're gonna choose this one because it's the biggest. Then for the fives, you choose this one because that's the biggest, and then for the sevens, you choose that one because that's the biggest. Now, you're gonna need a calculator for this part. So eight times three, or two to the power of three, sorry, times three, times five, times seven, and that'll give us 840. Now, let's use the calculator method and make sure that we do get the same answer. Okay, the calculator method's obviously 100 times better and 100 times faster, but it's also good to understand how we got those things. Okay, so we start with 40, you say 40 equals, then you press shift, and then you say factors, and there it is, two to the three times five, just like we got over here. So we could say that 40 is the same as two to the three times five, let's just write that a bit better, and then 84, sorry, 84 is the same, oh, why is it not typing, 84 equals shift 
factors. And there it is, two to the two times three times seven, just like we got. So two to the two times three times seven. And then you would go and use the same method that we normally used like we did over here. Okay, so here's our last example. So let's do it without a calculator first. The number 30 is the same as, you could say however you want, but three times 10, for example. Now the number 10 is the same as two times five. So if we just write it from smallest to biggest, that's 30. Now the number 48, well, you could say that that is, you could say eight times six or four times 12, however you want. Now the number four is two times two. And the number 12, you could say six times two or three times four, doesn't matter. And then the number four is the same as two times two. So if we had to go and just simplify that, that would be two to the power of one, two, three, four, and then times by three. So if I then had to just go write them above each other, so two times three times five, and then 48 is two to the four times three. Okay, so when you choose the LCM, you take the biggest of each one. So if you look at the twos, this one's definitely bigger, so we'll take that one. If you look at the threes, they're exactly the same, so you just take one of them. And then if you look at the fives, there is only this one, so you're just gonna take that one. Now, if you had to go work this out, you get 240 as your answer. Okay, and then we can quickly do the calculator method just to make sure that you get it. So let's take 30 equals shift factors, and there you get two times three times five, like we got over there. And then if you had to do the number 48 equals shift factors, two to the four times three, just like we got over there. And then from that, from that you would then get to this part and then the rest you would just follow like that.